and, and for uh, the Orlando Magic great center, it expanded his offensive arsenal. With that injury, he became a more dangerous player, and that is tough on the opponent. And, of course, it's any measure of a center is how well you play against Akeem Olajuwon, Bill, who started this season slowly, but seems to have come into the, the Akeem that we know. Greg, Akeem missed the preseason with injuries to his back and his elbow. The first month was a little bit slow for Akeem by his all-universe standards. But the last six weeks, he has resumed his customary leader's role among the significant statistical categories for centers. And in facing Shaquille O'Neal, who is the league's toughest opponent for all big guys, Akeem, he looks at this as his ultimate challenge. He's ready to go today. Well, Akeem Olajuwon, it's always a special day when he plays, even more so today, celebrating his 33rd birthday. How well will he play on his day? We'll find out when we come back. Hugh Evans, Bernie Fryer, and Mark Wunderlich. Showtime! And the opening tap to the Magic from Joe Williams. Oh. <laughs> Shaquille with the turnaround. There he is. One of the things that's helped Shaquille on me. Right back at O'Neal. And Elijah Wong with the block. Shaq, two jump pass attempts. Stay on the ground when you're going to pass that ball. Jump to shoot. Drexler on the drive. The, Watch Akeem jump in the air. I mean, Shaq jump in the air right there. The first pass gets blocked. They may give him two shot blocks on, on that attempt. Oh. Akeem has it taken away from him. Scott recovers and loses it. Shot clock is still running, so Elijah has to get it away and beats the clock. Beat Houston here Thursday night. Hardaway inside. Anthony Hardaway. Forget about blocking shots on the other guys. They spent a lot of time yesterday working on this particular play because they know that Shaq doesn't like to come out. Drexler's pass, batted away. Hardaway is one on three. Leaves it for Anderson. And the three is good. Point basket, Nick Anderson. Shaquille loses it. Drexler, three on three. Chucky Brown, back to Drexler. Of guys moves without the ball is just beautiful. Hardaway inside, and that looks like a match on Kenny Smith. He's really quick to handle this afternoon. It's feel better. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Greg. All right, Jim. Dennis Scott moves in. That's rejected by Akeem, and here come the Rockets. Four on two. Chucky Brown on the drive. Has started just four games so far this season. Elijah is playing like a guy at 21 today on his 33rd birthday. He's been real active inside. He poked that one away. They couldn't get the transition. Nick Anderson, he's got five in the court. 15-12, Orlando by three. Six minutes to play first quarter. Elijah with the turnaround on the baseline. Hardaway, across the lane, gets a shot away and drew the foul. A moment ago, Akeem's going to come from behind his own defensive teammate and slap this ball away. You know you're in a defensive rhythm when that kind of shot goes. And then the ability to just turn without even looking. When Shaq puts... Down low, O'Neal, one-on-one. The little hook doesn't go, but he will go to the free throw line. These aren't dropping quite yet for the Rockets. I, I think that Shaq will become a terrific free throw shooter. Kenny Hardaway. Help me understand the parallel here. <laughs> you, you've taken me to Utah. <laughs> oh, and it's Shaquille call for that personal foul. Hardaway looking for a screen. Takes the long three. No rebound. Ori. Long outlet for Olajuwon. Tapped by Hardaway. Saved by Hardaway. Too much of a gamble. Play it straight here. Play it simple. Pound it inside. Dennis Scott for three. Three point basket. Dennis Scott. No by five. Line. Out of nagging injury, just starting to get his game back. They're going to double team Shaq every time the ball goes inside. Three, Jeff Turner for three. The Rockets got a small team out there as a result of it. Shaq just overpowers Mark Bryant. Tim Bro got the. And now Akeem going to check back in at the next whistle. I like the way. Oh, beautiful slip pass. And Mark Bryant goes to the other side. Sometimes you got to think about passing the ball a little bit. 
deal on Ijewan. Cassell leads the charge. Drexler down the lane and roll it in. <laughs> he cut that ball with his wrist by Drexler. We're heading to the All-Star game. We're tied at 30. On the baseline, Shaquille O'Neal. Such a damn Keep your eye on Clyde's hand and the delivery, the slice at the last minute. Looked like the ball was going to go to the far side of the glass, but it hung on the rim and came back, and then Shaq right back with the jump hook. But remember, a year ago, we weren't seeing those kinds of moves for his team and himself. The cell with the fake and the bucket. Nice pass from Akeem. And that keeps him from Duncan. I, I really think it makes him a better player. Rockets on the run. Cassell to Drexler, fouled by Shaw. Two under seven and a half to play here in the first half. Hardaway down the lane, scoops it up, doesn't go. Rebound, O'Neal. Nice little drop in by O'Neal. He's got a rhythm going. He's got six in the quarter. He breaks down defenses, which Kenny Smith cannot do. Anthony Bowie. Bowie is a shooter. Ball, I think. Well, Brian made a good decision. Normally, Akeem, uh, you know, likes to get a little shake, and uh, he didn't do anything. Went right up. Yet they're still right there. Rick Kastner has it batted away and saved by Hardaway. Tap those little short misses in. Olajuwon and it's trip. Got it back outside to sell for three. The first three of the day for the Rockets. Back to that defensive yeah, play by Anthony Hardaway. Kavner thought he had all day with this jump shot and a quick reaction to Hardaway. One to get to it and then to find it to make the save. Uh, got Orlando going the other way. Hardaway with a good look down low for Joe Wolf. Every time somebody cuts to the basket, low to Hardaway. Are they going to go? And uh, Hardaway just overpowers him and able to get back and get to the rim. He is a real quick jumper. Right away. Scott has it. Hardaway on the drive. Had it stripped away by Clyde Drexler. Three in the last 420. Can't control it. Dennis Scott for three. And Olajuwon with the rebound. Minute 35 to play. Drexler on the drive. Set up by Cassell. Now they missed the first. <laughs> it's find out whether somebody's going to guard him. I mean, you have to like that. Team with the hook over Shaquille. 48-45. Get away, and then everything else opens up. Shaquille, good look for Hardaway. Bringing Hardaway from Shaquille. Four for four from inside three in the first half. 0 for five from behind the line. There's a lot going on with the turnaround. Got to make some shots, and if they don't make them, then they've got to go with a two-point attack and run the ball up the floor. Shaquille with the turnaround. Uh, hasn't been able to get back that hot start that he had. Drexler fouled by Scott. The most exciting and entertaining players of anyone in the NBA this year. Shaquille jump hook. Too easy. Uh, Shaq starting to get a little feel. Shaquille. Shaq learning from Akeem, youngster from the veteran. That, that shot right there, that will make everything else open up totally. Hey, let's just hang on and win it at the end rather than blasting throughout. Drexler out of the corner, got it. Juan Orlando by three. You have to make a decision earlier, and if you don't, this happened, then he, 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 he's shaking his head. And <laughs> for Rudy Tomjanovich, double team on the catch. Olajuwon with the... Well, now we see both centers just go back and forth and tap, grab by Olajuwon. Here come the Rockets, three on one. Drexler for Brown. Get into it was a three on one. They double O'Neal. Mistake. Drexler behind the back and foul. <laughs> That's it. Rockets by one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to a Robert Ory is an A. I think that's grab him, jump on him the way they used to do Will. No hesitation by Olajuwon, just up and over. And it's a one-point lead again for Houston. Drexler open and surprised Olajuwon. Well, he, he really was looking at Chucky Brown. Shaquille O'Neal gets great position, and the best thing to do is to give him the two because you're going to need Robert Ory later on. Just have a camera, take a picture. <laughs> Shaquille. Sh 
Hakeem just too late to respond that time. Interchanging the ball out in front, but then it was that weak side flash by Shaq, and Hakeem just lets him get that position. You've got to battle him, deny him here in the third quarter. Defensive play by Drexler. 62-60, Magic by 2, 4 5 to play in the third, and inside to Jeff Turner. Jeff Turner. Bill Walton with the pulse of the team <laughs> and the fan. <laughs> Block from behind, strip and foul. That one will be on Drexler. Anthony Hardaway has been surprisingly quiet and makes a sweet pass to Nick Anderson. So the magic is, is, is such a weapon there. He's going to basically find guys wide open. And Akeem, who's just 95 blocks away from becoming the NBA's all-time leading shot blocker, just cannot get his hands on that ball to shut him off. And this is the side of the floor that Elijah one doesn't like. And then Akeem quickly back up. Back at it. O'Neal short fouls. Rudy wants a push off. Doesn't get it. 69, 65. We're under a minute to play for the third. Olajuwon looks like he drew another one from Shaquille. Yeah. Hardaway for three. Got it. Three one mask and Anthony Hardaway. And make the defense react now because David Vaughn can't deal with the big fella. Double team, triple team, Elijah Wan hits. Want to give a guy a rest right now, but Akeem against three guys. Vaughn really. Vaughn did a good job. He did all you could do, but that is a shot that Elijah Wan has perfected and made <laughs> against everybody. So as a rookie, Vaughn can feel no shame. Mark Bryant with the shot clock at five. Off the baseline. Oh. Build on something more than a one-point lead for the first time this afternoon. Olajuwon in the lane. Drexler will go to the line. A long road trip. Remember, just the end of, what, a nine or ten five, day road nine, trip. Nine days, five games. Hardaway inside. If you want to know where Hardaway has improved, it's this right here. His ability not only to break a guy down like Drexler, but to get the ball up in the air. His strength is much better than it was a year ago. Before the Rockets when they were struggling, O'Neal. Short. That time, Akeem got him out a little bit out of that range for the jump hook. Drexler on the drive. Got it on the foul. In court and, and hurt. The magic in transition. That's what happened in the final. Olajuwon with the jumper. Been dumped on by just about everybody. You got to have that call. Hardaway goes back in down the lane and draws the foul. Point so far here in just about six minutes of play. Olajuwon over Wolf. Got it. The entire complexion of the game. Too deep. They poke it away. He wants the ball in the same spot. And go back to him. He spins to the baseline, got the bucket and the foul. That's a terrific move by Shaquille O'Neal. Going to his left all day long and then spins to his right for the first time today. That's why you set it up with the jump hook there. Then they got to lean for that way. That's where the, the double team is going to come from. And then you roll off him. And that's pulled the magic with this possession, a chance to get with one or three. And Shaquille with the turnaround on the baseline. They play the clock, play the clock, and dump it inside. 26 points for Shaquille O'Neal. The magic within one for 50 remaining. This is the NBA on NBC. Wolf with the rebound. Hardaway on Cassell. Spins and gets it. Anthony Hardaway's drive. Sam Cassell knew he was in trouble and he's trying to draw the foul. Watch him fall and bail out. And Hardaway just spins for an easy two. They're foolish. Fearless. Okay. <laughs> Hardaway with a long three. Tie game at 90. Rockets 90, the Magic 90. Akeem spins to the inside and got the push. Entire summer working on his perimeter game, the elevation, but notice the arc on the ball. It's much better this year than it was a year ago. That shot was flatter. Hardaway, Anderson, Scott, and Shaw, the near steal. Akeem, oh, Akeem coming from behind. 
It was almost a near steal, and O'Neal should play a two-man game. Hardaway down the lane. Hardaway used the screen from Shaquille, found the opening down the lane, and put it away. 93-92, Magic in the lead with 135 as the Rockets look for a 20-second timeout and get it. Normally on that screen, Akeem would step out and get in Penny's way, but he's so concerned about Shaq. I mean, his only concern is that he's, I got to stay at home. I can you feel is going to make a play and deliver the goods. Drexler stuck. Akeem with the jumper from outside. Hit it. Jumper. Rockets by one. Tapped away from behind. And Drexler has the basketball. Somewhere. Elijah won against. O'Neal. The fadeaway. No good. O'Neal with the rebound. Outlets for Hardaway by himself. Anthony Hardaway. Another huge play. Coaches are always telling rebounders, look to the other end of the floor because something good might happen. Hardaway broke away from the pack to throw this one down in the closing moments of this ball game. Robert Ory trying to fly in and make him miss. And Ory's pretty good at making that block. Now, all of the Magic wanted a three-point play. Hardaway, an expert at winning at the buzzer. Outside, Nick Anderson gives it up. Dennis Scott for three. No. Shaquille with the rebound. Got it. This is a big time rebound save by O'Neal. The shot is long. Watch the position. He's inside, and all of the strength that he's been you've been talking about, Bill, is right there. Elijah Wong can do nothing to stop it. Still 4.7 to play. The magic by one, and we're coming back after these words from your local station. on the floor. What the Rockets want to do is get the ball up in the air, quickly give themselves a chance to rebound the ball. Sam Cassell. Cassell lost it down the lane, blocked by O'Neal, and it's over. The Orlando Magic complete the series sweep on the Houston Rocket with the victory here in the Summit. All right, thank you, Greg. Well, Shaq, you had the winning basket and also the block in the critical situation here tonight. Tell us about the block shot right there at the end. Well, uh, they had to, uh, 3D they took a shot in the corner, and uh, I had went one way and came back and got the ball in the baseline and put it back up. And uh, right then, it was, you know, four seconds on the clock, and Penny Jake did this on the cell. He tried to force the shot, and I just blocked it. How much was your thigh bothering, and how important is this win on the road? You guys have really struggled on this road trip on the road. I mean, it's hurting like crazy, but uh, my thing is, if I can walk, if I can run, I can play out there with my guys. I missed the first 27 games, and I missed three games last weekend. I'm going to try not to miss any more games. Jack, congratulations. Penny, you guys have now beaten Houston twice here in the regular season. After the four-game sweep, how important to establish yourselves against Wait. the Western Conference team? Well, it's important for us, even though we've lost a lot of games on the Western Coast, to beat the top teams on the Western Coast. And Houston's right now one of the top teams, and it's a good feeling to come in here and win a game after last year's sweep. Tell us about the confidence factor of this team, how much confidence you have, particularly without Horace. Well, we have a lot of confidence. You know, when Shaq was out, we played without Shaq, and now that Horace is out, we're playing without him. And the team knows how to play, you know, in crucial situations like today, you know, without our veteran guys in there, and uh, we pulled it out. You ruined uh, Akeem's birthday. How's your eye? Well, I can't really worry about Akeem's birthday. I'm really worried about my eye more so, but it's all right now, and uh, I'll be all right. A little swelled up, a little fight here tonight, but it wasn't Mike Tyson. But Congratulations, Penny. Fight Mike Tyson. Yo, baby, yo. <laughs> Let's go back to Craig Gumbel. All right, Jim Gray, you mentioned it. A rare road victory for this Orlando Magic. What does it say about the future of these two teams this season? And I could say we'll have a terrific rematch in the finals. They both know that they're mirror images. Bill? All right, Bill, 97-96 <laughs> Orlando, the final score for Bill Walton, Steve Jones, and Jim Gray. I'm Greg Gumbel. So long from Houston.